we have a right to know. We absolutely do. And that you call us fake news and, 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 and put us down like children for asking these questions on behalf of the American people is inconsequential. The people deserve that answer at very least. The establishment news media in America is growing increasingly unhinged in its reporting of Donald Trump and their seeming inability to sustain a media narrative against him. What's worse is that they seem to sense in, a, in some vague way that the ground has shifted underneath their feet, but they're not quite sure what's happened. The term fake news, which was originally coined by them, is now used against them with devastating effect. In this video, I want to go over why the mainstream media has lost and continues to lose influence and power, and why they have been so ineffective in covering Donald Trump. If the mainstream media wishes to regain its credibility and put the term fake news to bed, the first thing it is going to have to do is to stop peddling fake news. Just in the past week, here are some of the phony narratives the mainstream media has tried to push. Trump refused to shake Angela Merkel's hand. No, he did shake her hand, and he also had to acknowledge that Germany and other NATO members need to increase their defense spending. Trump's proposed budget will kill Big Bird. Nope. Big Bird has made a new nest at HBO since 2015. Trump's proposed budget will kill Meals on Wheels. Not even close to being true. Donald Trump's tax returns. The less said about this, the better. There was collusion between the Trump campaign and Russia, which influenced the 2016 elections. This is one story that the establishment media has been pushing for months now, despite there being no evidence for it. Even top Democrats are warning their base about this, and yet the media persists. It would seem obvious that if the establishment media wanted to stop being accused of peddling fake news, they would simply stop doing it. However, they seem utterly incapable of even this basic level of self-reflection. I suspect one of the reasons for this is that in the not-so-recent past, they didn't have to. During the 2012 election, the establishment media was able to destroy one of the most decent and honorable men to run for president, Mitt Romney, with fake news stories. From awkward phrases like binders full of women to stories of animal abuse to others claiming he was responsible for a cancer death, the establishment media showed Romney no mercy. In the end, the establishment media got their way and their man, Barack Obama, was re-elected. What they also made obvious, however, was that a decent man could not run for president. The only man who could survive in the media environment they created was a man who had no respect for the media, would treat them with no deference whatsoever, and would head back twice as hard when attacked. Enter Donald Trump. Donald Trump's career has been incubated in celebrity culture. By instinct and intention, he understood it better than any conventional politician ever has. What's more, he recognized from the beginning that eight years of the press lavishing praise on and protecting President Obama had come at the expense of their last shreds of credibility. They were a Potemkin village that Trump, along with the rise of alternative media, was able to knock down with ease. With his use of Twitter, he is able to bypass the press, which is seen as not just unreliable, but predictably so, and communicate directly with the American people. He has simply gone around the media's palace guards, and there is nothing they can do about it. In this way, the establishment media has not only created Trump, but continues to support him. Fake news story after fake news story does not hurt Trump. It merely prevents the establishment media from regaining their credibility, and thus their power. In their almost mind-numbing hubris and arrogance, however, they are incapable of seeing it. In ancient Greece mythology, Nemesis was the goddess who enacted retribution against those who succumbed to hubris, or arrogance, before the gods. For the establishment media, Donald Trump is a nemesis of their own creation. Until the establishment media engages in some honest self-reflection on their own failings, he will continue to be so.